Oh. Uh-oh. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. If y'all are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. I greatly appreciate it. And share this video with a friend and leave some comments down below on the content that you guys want to see coming up. I really appreciate it if you guys share this video with a friend too. Get somebody new into fishing and uh, maybe they'll even learn something from this video. So that'd be awesome. So today we're going to be doing some more micro fishing, but we're only fishing with a micro swim bait for pretty much whatever bites. We're going to try to catch some crappie some bluegill, some bass, some catfish. I mean, really whatever bites here in these ponds today. And we're just gonna have fun with it and try to catch as many fish as possible. So this is the combo that I'm rocking with today. Old Kicking Their Bass combo. If you guys wanna check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. You need to go ahead and order now so you'll end up receiving it by Christmas. But I have the link down below. And today we're rocking with the old spinning combo, Kicking Their Bass X Loose. And this is the swim bait that I'm rocking with. Just a little tiny swim bait. Nothing crazy on a 1 16th ounce jig head. I got some really slick braid on this, so it's gonna be casting very well. But yeah, go ahead and head over to kickintheirbass.com, cop yourself a combo, and uh, if you guys end up catching some fish on it, make sure you post it on Instagram, tag your boy in it. I love seeing that. So cool to see people, you know, get their new rod and go out and catch some big fish. I mean, that's, that's the best feeling in the world, and I love seeing you guys catch some big ones. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into this. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hit the like button if you wanna see some more micro fishing videos. Leave your feedback down below if you guys have any tips for me for the micro content. Um, but let's go ahead and hop into this one and see if we can catch some good fish. All right, y'all, we just get out to the spot and we're gonna start fishing here and see what we can catch. Got this little swim bait on and uh, we're just gonna have some fun today. Catch really whatever bites with the little micro swim bait. And uh, like I said, just have a good time today. So let's start casting. See if we can get some fish on the bank. I know the fishing recently has been a little tough. Um, the weather's been very interesting. It's actually hot today. It's been very cold this week. So hopefully these fish are gonna bite and they're not gonna be in a weird funk, but let's we'll see what happens. You might need to come over here and work that thing. I got one. Oh no. That felt like a good little fish right there. He had it as a, it was just falling. <sighs> oh, nice. He came back and ate it. There we go, guys. First fish of the day is a little bass. It's nothing big, but he's fighting really good. This water's so clear, too. Nice little fish. Got to start somewhere today and uh, got us a little bass to start off on the micro swim bait. There we go. That's our first species today. A largemouth bass. It's a good little start. He put up a little fight too. I had one bite me on the fall. I don't know if it was him or a different fish, but he came back and ate it. So last time we came out here, guys, this corner right here was like a great high percentage area to get bites in. And we caught some big bluegill, some decent bass, some micro bass. Ended up not catching any crappie, which I know they're in here, but I got another one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're, they're loaded. Let's see if we can cast right there, Katie, right where I was. By the way, we got Katie out with us today. We're just yeah. playing around. She's never fished with like micro lures like this, so we're just kind of having fun with it. I've I've really enjoyed the micro videos I this last month. Tails. You throw like a little rooster tail. That's about it. Yeah. No, this is like oddly really fun. Like once you start catching them, you're gonna be like, bang. Look, see that? Look, yeah. did you see him just eating me right there? Yeah. I don't think that's a bass. Oh yeah, it is. It is a bass. Yeah, it's not a bad one. I think he's bigger than my last one. <laughs> these these fish just tank this little swim bait, man. <laughs> not a big one. Not really what we're looking for. Or not? No, we're fishing for whatever today, guys. We're just having fun. I don't, I don't care if he's ten pounds or or two pounds. Either way, I'm gonna have a good time. This is something that you know, if the fishing's really tough for y'all, you can go out and try and throw micro baits and still catch them. But it's a little old bass. Second fish today. That was a little fatter. Oh, I just had one. Did you get bit? You got him? Nice, that's a little bass, <laughs> micro bass. There you go. You got your first one. Yes. Nice, look at that. Uh oh, did he swallow it? No. Oh no. Very good. I got one too. We got to double up. He's a bass too. Wow, the go. bass are eating today. We're fishing for whatever bites, but these bass are <laughs> are going crazy. Look at how strong they are too for how small. I think I got you beat on just a yeah, little bit, just a little. but a lot, but a lot of little, a lot of little bit. You gotta give me a fish bump. Fish bump. Nice. Well, four bass so far. I'm ready to see a crappie. 
So I want y'all's feedback in the comment section down below. You know, we've started doing these like little micro videos, it's only our third one. And I'm not like big into this. Like I've never really done this before. I just come out here and have fun with it. But that cast, uh, I just called that fish on, I actually threw my bait out and I was like paying attention to Katie's fish. I wasn't even moving it around and he happened to eat it. Yeah, it just, yeah, it was just sitting. Got you got another one? Get him. Yeah. Wait, that might be a better one, isn't it? Oh. Okay, they're they're biting really good now. <laughs> and that's when you're letting that thing sit on the bottom, right? Yeah, I was I was listening to you talk about it. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was getting to. Like, I just had this thing sit on the bottom, and I had that last one eat it. How do you guys work your baits? Like, are you guys this little swim bait? Ooh, I got one. Gosh. Yeah, I know it's working out. Whatever I'm doing. Oh. I knew I was gonna lose that one. I was playing with them too much. But do you guys like reel it in? Do you guys pop it? Do you guys like let it sit on the bottom and hop it like a jig? I mean, what do y'all think the best way to catch them is? Or is it kind of like bass? Like it just depends on the day and how they want to eat it. Which I mean, we are catching bass, but. True. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm asking y'all, but just leave your feedback down below on uh, some micro tips if you guys have them, because your boy is a little new to this and I'm just playing around. You get bit? Nice. Bass? Yeah, no, that's not a bad one either. Yeah, that's pretty good bass. Nice. Yeah, that's not a bad one. It's a nice little bass. <laughs> I'll take it. Not big, but they're still fun to catch. This is what you, you get for throwing small bait. I mean, you'll catch some big ones though. You just, you gotta get in front of the right fish, you know? Well, I've been getting a lot of DMs recently and just messages and comments as a whole. And, you know, people have been struggling with the fishing recently. Fishing hasn't been the best this year. Like, the, the whole, like, summer to fall transition, the fall to winter has been very weird this year. It hasn't been consistent. You know, the weather's just been a little weird. Uh, I don't, that's the best way to describe it. And, you know, this is a great way of just getting outside, you know, not killing yourself for one bite. You know, you can get out with a little micro bait and end up catching a ton of fish. So that's that's kind of why I'm wanting to start doing this too, is to show you guys, you know, you don't have to go throw all these big bass lures and spend eight hours for one bite. Like you can get out here with a little micro lure too and have a lot of fun paired up, paired up on your kicking their bass combo and, and go catch a lot of fish. So that, that's the biggest thing. I mean, you don't have to go out there and bass fish every single time with crazy lures. Like that, that's always what I do. And now that I've kind of opened myself up to this, I've been having a lot of fun. I mean catching a lot of fish getting a lot of bites even on tough days and overall it's just it's really a blast oh yeah he hammered that thing that might be a crappy i think that's a crappy is it oh no it's a, it's a decent bass that's the best one yet yeah that's the best one yet Okay, I saw like his white side, but you know the bass change colors this time of year. <laughs> yeah, he slammed that sucker and just started running with it. Look at that thing in the back of his throat. Yeah, that's not a bad one, you know, for what we've been catching. Uh, I still would like to see a good big bass, like I think it's possible. We just got to keep on fishing, but that's a nice little bass. On that swim bait. Thank you, buddy. So the last micro video that we filmed, I like bought some new braid and I ended up not putting it on, but it was like really slick. And I was talking about it, about putting like nice braid on the spinning combos. Well, I want you guys to see something. So this is a 1 16th ounce jig head, very light, like so light that you really shouldn't be able to cast it on this. Now I'm gonna watch this. You know, we got a good distance across the pond. Look at that. I can almost cast all the way across the pond with a 1 16th ounce bait, which is just crazy, especially on a seven foot rod with a micro lure like it's pretty impressive and I, I have to give props to the braid too because the braid's very slick and i think that matters like don't that's the thing when you're putting braid on these things don't go with the cheap braid if you want a smooth clean cast on a spinning combo you need to go with something a little more slick it's going to come off the reel a little bit better and i mean you guys see it there this thing's beaming i barely have to put any weight to it just kind of flip it out there you know i'm just saying he's on me right here you got my thing <laughs> But I bet you there's more down there. There's more down there. Another bass. Come on, bass. We're fishing for whatever bites today. And I can't hide from the bass. Can't ever hide from the bass. And there's a big population of bluegill and crappie in here. 
that are very good size. Like they'll make these bass look small. So that's what I'm really trying to target. We've caught plenty of bass today. I don't mind catching any more bass. If we do, I'm still gonna have fun with it, but where are the crappy? And is there a specific way to work this to maybe get a crappy to bite? But I think they're just in a certain area on the pond and we just haven't found it yet. Oh, you got one? Is that a bass? A micro bass. Yeah, that's a micro bass. No, well, Katie, really Katie got her a micro. That's her first micro today. We've caught some small bass, but that's, I mean, it's a five inch micro bass. Here you guys. Oh yeah, he's running. That's a that's probably the best fish today. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good. Is it crappie? It is a crappie. No, it's a big bass. No, I thought it was a huge crappie. I mean, not a big bass, but you know what I mean. That's the best one today. Look at that one. Yeah, that's a nice fish. I really thought that was a crappie. I like for some reason my mind told me that was a crappie. You have the smallest, I got the biggest. That's not a bad bass, right? Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, he fought pretty good. I was about to say, I mean, that has to be the biggest fish today. He's not quite two pounds, but he's up there in that high one, one range. For some reason, when I looked at him, he looks exactly like a crab. Maybe it's just because it's on my mind. I don't know, I looked at him and he literally looked identical to a crappie. Like in my head, it, it was a crappie. Oh, uh-oh. That's the biggest fish of the day. Yeah, I swear. Yeah, this is a good one. Oh, he's gonna be close. He looks identical. He was in the middle. He's where he should be right now this time of year. Oh yeah. All right guys, we moved spots and I think it was a good call because we're upgrading to some better sized fish. <laughs> yeah, look at that one. It's a good one. It's not a bad one, right? Pretty good one. <laughs> that, was, that was a good little fish. He fought hard when he ate it. I just couldn't even move him. Yeah, I threw like right out here, Katie, like right in the middle. That was my first cast out there and he slammed it. I'm sure there's some more down there. Yeah, look. Oh yeah, that's another good one. Look at that. Yeah, that's where the good ones are, Katie. You need to get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, it makes sense because they're like right in the little ditch of this creek. Oh yeah, they're good ones. This might be a two pounder. I don't know, these fish are like high one pounders. Yeah, that's a, that's a pound and a half, but he's just fat. Ooh, he's got some sharp teeth he's been eating. That thing just fell right out. Look at these bass though, guys. That's like three casts, or not three casts, but two casts in a row. In the last like three or four casts, I've caught three good bass. That's a good sign. All right, so this is what I'm doing, y'all. Beaming that sucker out there. That was a horrible cast, my line was around my rod. I'm throwing it out there, I'm letting it hit the bottom. And I wait till it hits the bottom and then I kind of hop it and that fish had it right away. Like they're just stacked down there. See if we, yep, look at that right there. Oh, he came off, came off. Well, y'all, I was about to let Katie use my bait and then she ended up hooking this nice one. They're down there, guys, like stacks. We found the spot for sure. I think it was a good decision moving spots. Look at that one, that's a nice one. I'm gonna take a picture. All right. All right, we gotta get a new swim bait, guys. Oh, matter of fact, I don't even know. Yeah, I do got one, okay. I'm not gonna retie this whole thing, but I will just take the swim bait off. These are like pre-made ones. Should I just tie it on? Nah, we're just gonna take it off. Yeah, look at that one. They were demolishing that swim bait. We got a fresh one. This hook's a little bent, but I, I think it's fine. I think we'll be all right. I'm having a lot of fun, guys. This has been a very enjoying video. I don't even know what that means, enjoying video. Jeez. All right, there we go. We got our new swim bait. Let's get back out there, see if we can get a couple more.
right there. That's some money, I feel it. I'm gonna get bit this cast. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir, ski. I got a little fish stick. He is not big, but they might be stacked down there. He had it on the fall. I didn't even move it. Ooh. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's the biggest one today. He's right there where, where I caught that last one. Yeah, that might be the biggest today. It's hard to tell. I don't know. They're all so good. Like we caught like five that are like pretty good ones. Look how fat he is. Nice fish. Not a giant, but he's a nice fat one. And I'll take him. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Right there in the corner of his mouth. Yeah, see how like he's a meatball. Yeah. Caught some nice fish today. I'm just disappointed that we've only caught bass, guys. Like, <laughs> I really didn't want to just catch bass. I wanted to fish for whatever bites. No, I mean, the challenge still is what the challenge is. It's just we haven't been successful with bluegill or crappie. Yeah. Is that catfish? Or catfish. Yeah, there's catfish. I mean, I, I was just hoping to catch a little bit of everything, but these bass are just tearing it up. This swim bait. I wonder why. I mean, the swim bait's more understandable, but that bait that you have on, I really think you should have caught a few bluegill or something. Well, all right, y'all, I think we're going to close out today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Let me know what you guys think about the micro videos. I've really been having a lot of fun with it. If you guys want to check out the kicking their bass spinning combos on my website, kickingtheirbass.com, please do so. The link is down below. I'd love to see you guys go out and uh, do like some of the same challenges that we have been doing on the kicking their bass channel. I love you guys so much. Share this video with a friend. I'll catch y'all in the next video.